Prince Abdul Mateen of Brunei is the hottest royal figure in Asia thanks to his handsome appearance, masculine demeanor, and admirable educational level. Although still quite young, the prince has made a name for himself, both in Brunei and internationally, thanks to his extremely impressive achievements in many fields, in particular with his huge wealth of tens of billions of dollars, as well as his classy lifestyle. This prince is always the focus of news hunters. So how rich and how talented is Prince Abdul Mateen? All will be answered by Luxury Style in today's video. Born on August 10, 1991, Prince Abdul Mateen of the Brunei royal family is the son of King Haji Hassanal Bokaya and his second wife Punha Maryam. It is known that Prince Mateen is one of 12 children, five sons and seven daughters. Of the head of the Brunei royal family, Mateen is said to be the sixth in line of succession to the royal throne. However, in important diplomatic events, this prince still receives a lot of trust when he often appears right next to his father. Rich, handsome, talented, and with nothing but money. Thanks to his royal background, from an early age, this handsome prince lived in luxury and had many of the most luxurious hobbies, possessing a fortune of up to 28 billion US dollars. Mateen also owns a supercar collection of up to 50 Mercedes-Benz, 66 Ferraris, 20 Bentleys, 20 BMWs, 17 Jaguars, 15 Porsches, 10 Rolls-Royce, and 3 Lamborghinis. The prince is also known for his charitable activities. Mateen served as an ambassador for the Children's Cancer Foundation, supporting education and healthcare initiatives in Brunei. Besides, he also has a remarkable education, outstanding sports talent, and is especially still single. Accordingly, the Prince of Brunei attended Brunei's top schools and then went to England to study at King's College London, a famous private school. Moreover, Prince Mateen also received a master's degree from the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. In addition, this 32-year-old prince also attended a one-year course at the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. However, it was this period of study that had the most profound impact on the prince's life. Sandhurst is a prestigious military training facility, famous for its rigorous physical and mental training programs. This is also the place where many of the UK's top military leaders were trained, including former Prime Minister Winston Churchill. At Sandhurst, Prince Mateen underwent a rigorous training program that was both physically and mentally challenging. The young man had to complete a series of tasks, including obstacle courses, endurance runs, and military exercises. The prince also received training in leadership, teamwork, and military strategy. In fact, the Brunei royal family has traditionally trained at Sandhurst. The decision to send its members to Sandhurst emphasizes the importance of physical fitness and leadership within the Brunei royal family. Although the Brunei royal family is famous for being one of the richest royal families in the world, in an interview with the Thai magazine, Abdul Mateen himself said he did not want to flaunt or talk too much about his huge wealth or family giant. He just wants to have a simple life and do the things he likes. However, on his personal Instagram, Prince Abdul Mateen still shows a part of his luxurious lifestyle that is difficult for anyone to match. Accordingly, he is not afraid to show his love for many sports, such as football, golf, or polo riding and so on. In particular, Prince Abdul Mateen also represented Brunei to compete in polo at the 2017 and 2019 Southeast Asian Games, the SEE Games. In the 2017 match, nearly 3,000 spectators came to watch the match between Brunei and Malaysia. Malaysia won 8-6 on aggregate, but Prince Abdul Mateen and the Brunei team received praise for their performance and sportsmanship throughout the tournament. In the match against the Philippines in 2019, the Brunei Polo team defeated the opponent with a narrow score of 7-6. The victory is a historic achievement for Brunei, as it is the first time the country has won a polo gold medal at the SEA Games. Prince Abdul Mateen was praised for his leadership and excellent polo skills. In a few posts, this prince also showed images of him flying a plane, driving a multi-billion dollar supercar, and traveling to the most famous places in the world. Thanks to his handsome appearance and outstanding talent, Abdul Mateen also made it to the list of the world's six most desirable prince, voted by Harper's Bazaar US Magazine in 2017. The criteria for choosing a wife are incredibly simple. In 2017, the Prince of Brunei's interview with the press received great attention when he revealed his ideal type. Accordingly, 
This prince said that he liked a simple, insincere girl. I like someone who is sincere and real, a simple person. That's the type of person I like, set the prince of Brunei to GQ. Immediately after the interview was posted, many girls thought that this criterion was indeed too simple compared to Mateen's family background, assets, and what he owned. Sometime later, this prince was caught up in the dating rumors with Anisha Isa Kalabek, a daughter from a noble family in Brunei. However, no further information has been released. Many people believe that, until now. This prince is still lonely and only focuses on work and personal interests. Gold-plated assets of the Sultan of Brunei are waiting for Prince Abdul Mateen to inherit. The Sultan of Brunei lives in the world's largest palace, owns gold-plated cars and planes, and has an estimated fortune of 28 billion US dollars. King Hassan Bokia, 54 years old, also holds the positions of Prime Minister, Minister of Defense, and Minister of Finance of Brunei. He graduated from the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, in England, where Princess William and Harry studied. He was once one of the richest people in the world and currently owns a fortune about 28 billion US dollars with a great passion for gold-plated objects. He has the world's largest collection of rare cars, including a custom-made Rolls-Royce with a rear compartment with a row of open-air seats and an elaborately decorated parasol so the king can wave to everyone. This car is plated with gold, almost entirely from the body to the wheels. According to Hot Cars, the king collects about 7,000 cars estimated to be worth more than 5 billion, including 600 Rolls Royces, 450 Ferraris, and 380 Bentleys. His car collection is so impressive that he and the Brunei royal family are said to own half of all Rolls Royce purchased globally in the 1990s. He also owns one of the seven Ferrari 456 GT Venice cars produced globally, along with rare cars like a gray Lamborghini, Urocco, and a Porsche 959. The head of the Brunei royal family bought Boeing 747-400, Boeing 767-200, and Airbus A340-200 jets for travel, of which the Boeing 747-400 was so gold-plated and luxurious that it was nicknamed Flying Palace. Many of the aircraft's interiors are made of gold and lalique crystal. According to the British media, the Boeing Flying Palace is worth about 400 million US dollars. He is also said to have given his daughter an Airbus A340 for her birthday. King Hassan Obokia lives at Instana Nuro Iman, the largest palace in the world, with an area of more than 200,000 square meters and many gold plated furniture. The palace has more than 1,700 rooms. 257 bathrooms and five swimming pools, along with a system of specially equipped air-conditioned barns to raise horses. The palace grounds have up to 110 garages for the cars in his collection. The total cost of building the palace was about 1.4 billion US dollars at the time of completion in 1984. As an art lover, the Sultan of Brunei once spent 70 million US dollars on the oil painting Two Young Girls at the Piano by a French artist Pierre Auguste. According to the Times, he also took great care of his appearance, even spending $20,000 on a haircut. He often invites his favorite hairstylist in the UK to come to Brunei to cut his hair. Not only Prince Abdul Mateen is of interest, but Brunei also surprised the world with 10 interesting facts below. You must have been surprised by the information listed about the wealth of the oil nation of Brunei, but we are confident that you will be even more surprised when you learn the following 10 interesting facts about Brunei. Gold can be seen all over the country. Brunei is worldwide famous for its incredible wealth, thanks to the world's largest oil reserves. Gold can be seen everywhere in this country because people decorate palaces, cathedrals, and even hotels with it. Istana Nur el Iman is considered the most luxurious and splendid palace in the world, with an estimated value of about $1.4 billion. The palace is located in the center of the capital, and has an area of 200,000 square meters, open to the public only three days a year. Ustana Nural Uman is considered the most luxurious and splendid palace in the world. Free housing provided. Brunei is undoubtedly the richest country in the world. Every person here enjoys great benefits thanks to rich oil fields. Brunei citizens hardly need to pay any taxes to the state. In contrast, the Brunei government also has a policy of providing almost completely free housing to every citizen here. They just need to register and pay a fee of one US dollar 
and will own a house of their own after a period of three to five years. The above policies of this generous country are wonderful, aren't they? This is also the curiosity of tourists when coming here. They want to discover both the people and customs of Brunei, an extremely hospitable country. Housing services for only one US dollar not only help poor people, but also bring curiosity to tourists when visiting Brunei. Kingdom of Brunei, Land of Peace Brunei is a small tropical country located on the island of Borneo and has a similar area to the state of Delaware. This is a country with great infrastructure, low fuel costs, and especially open oil found everywhere in the country. In addition, Brunei is also known as a body of peace, meaning land of peace. This place is famous for its beautiful beaches and peaceful tropical forests, as its name suggests. This country is a combination of beautiful nature and gentle, friendly people without worries. Coming to Brunei, you will find for yourself treasures hidden in the immense green of primable forests, which are not found everywhere. This is the country with the longest reigning king in the world. Brunei is an absolute monarchy, with the Bokia royal family ruling the country for more than 600 years, and the 29th Sultan of Brunei, Hassan Bokia Muazadin Wadala, is one of the richest monarchs in the world. There are documents that show that he owns a huge fortune including an Airbus 340. In addition to six small jets, more than two helicopters, 6,000 cars, and a 1788-room palace. He was also the one who built the mosque encrusted with gold and diamonds. He is also the current Prime Minister, Minister of Defense, and Minister of Finance of this country. Citizens do not need to pay taxes. Knowing this, many of you probably want to leave your country and go to Brunei. As a citizen of Brunei, you will not be subject to any income tax. Therefore, it is very normal for a normal Bruneian to own a house and three or four cars. Free tuition and hospital fees Three best things we want to explore in Brunei are tuition, hospital fees, and jobs. Regarding education, the government will cover all tuition fees for all students at all levels. After graduating from high school, if students intend to study abroad, the government will grant scholarships to study abroad. However, they must return to contribute to their home country equal to the time they studied abroad. As for hospital fees, with only two US dollar per person, the state will provide free health care for citizens from mild to incurable diseases for the rest of their lives. Regarding employment issues, all Brunei citizens will not need to face a specter of long-term unemployment here. When graduating, they just need to apply for jobs at the desired companies or agencies and will be accepted. These things have contributed to the leisurely and peaceful life of every Brunei citizen. Males and females are not allowed to study at the same school. The interesting fact about Brunei is that they separate schools for boys and schools for girls because boys and girls are not allowed to live together or study together. When going to school, Female students must cover their hair and face, leaving only their eyes exposed. Friday and Sunday are days off. Although it is still a two-day off week, Brunei has Friday and Sunday off instead of Saturday and Sunday, like in many other countries. This is because Brunei is a Muslim country and Friday is the sixth prayer day. So this day must be off to ensure that Muslim activities are easy and convenient. During this time, all stores are closed. Brunei is the country with the highest car ownership rate in the world. Taxis are a rarity. Brunei is one of the countries with the highest car ownership rates in the world. On average, every 1.5 people have a car. According to World Bank data on Brunei, personal car ownership in this country increased by 19% from 2011 to 2014, while the population only increased by 4% in the same period. In addition, a recent report from the ASEAN Automobile Federation said that Brunei's car sales increased by 8% in the first five months of 2020. Even the COVID-19 pandemic cannot restrain the huge purchasing power of Brunei people. Therefore, there is no need to travel by other means like taxis. If you want to book a taxi, you must notify the hotel staff for an hour in advance to arrange a taxi to pick you up. However, you must schedule a pickup time if you don't want to walk a long way without knowing the way. Buses can also be seen in Brunei, but they are mainly used to serve foreigners coming here to work. It is a country that bans many things. Due to being a Muslim country, Brunei prohibits many things, such as no bars, pubs, or entertainment areas in the country. 
the sale of beer, wine, or pork. Stores are only allowed to open after 9 a.m. and before 10 p.m. The duration of the program has ended. We wish you a happy and relaxing moment. What do you think about the Prince of Brunei and interesting facts about this beautiful Muslim country? Please leave your comments below this video. And don't forget to visit, as well as subscribe to Luxury Style Channel to watch many of our other attractive videos. Goodbye and see you again.